to our next main topic. And our next main topic is the Flash. So, as we know, lots of controversy around the Flash with uh, Ezra Miller and lots of things like that. Um, and we were wondering, you know, will the movie ever come to be? Now we know it will. They're saying it's like the greatest DC movie ever made. Um, but I want to talk about the important things James Gunn said about The Flash, which is, A, this will be a resetting. Like, this movie will reset the DCU. So I think that is very important. And and, the, and then, you know, moving forward, um, he did mention, you know, that he, can, he can't, you know, not work with talent for things they say. You know, because uh, Zachary Levi had yeah, said that's some another, things. Yeah, that's another really cool thing because, he, you know, he got fired, right, from yes. Disney for a while. Yes, yeah, for so sure. He's got that um, experience. But but yeah. I will say that Ezra Miller didn't say shit. He, he did he's shit. He's currently being and, charged and actions for are a lot different than words. Yes. And, um, you know, I forget what it was Zachary Levi had said. Something about... Anti-vax. Something. Yeah, I mean... Something is stupid. It's if we so knew, stupid. Yeah, right. I know. But if we found out he was, like, going into people's houses at night and de-vaxxing them, then it would change this whole situation. It's no longer... Them right? and yeah, no them doubt. And saying, hey, right. I am the um, For sure. So I think that... That um, I can still have some sort of faith that we will not see Ezra Miller moving forward as the Flash from that movie. But what we will see is a reset of the DC Universe. We So he says it's still on the slate. Um, not only is it on the slate, but Aquaman 2 um, and, Shazam. and Shazam as well. And, um, and it's actually just right around the corner. Yeah, it's like March. Yeah, maybe. for sure. And... Um, yeah, so we know the Flash will still be there, and I think that he's going to try to do what he can to kind of make this, uh, like he said, the the reset and kind of closing off of the yeah, and DCU. somehow merge these things so we can also open the eyes to the majority of the audience and let them know all of these things exist. So still maybe exists. we see Robert Pattinson's Batman, but you know he doesn't have to be part of the Flashpoint. We could just see that there's multiple realities where different Batman exist or whatever but i think that we're going to see something like that in this and yeah i think moving forward though i still think we see the flash recast but you hearing this lucas you know the flash it's definitely coming still and it's now straight out it is he said it is the resetting of the dcu what are your thoughts on that um, I've kind of expected that for a long time now. It's different in its shape, of course, because of everything that's happening. Yeah, and right. But, and I'm really curious to see how, like, because that movie's been done forever. Right. And I know they did reshoots and right. they cut and whatever. Right, because so. they were already resetting, but now they're resetting in a whole Re new way. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So, uh, personally, I mean, like, I got back and forth because I do love Ezra Miller's take as The Flash. It's so good. Is it worth it? And is it going to continue? I mean, is it, I don't know. I, I'm conflicted. And it, I, I, I would be happy if it was recast. I would probably, as long as they change Ezra Miller, I mean, changes, if, whatever that looks like. Keep him, I guess. But it's interesting that he's one of the ones they're keeping. Um, just noteworthy, too, with the Zachary Levi thing that you were just talking about. The tweet that he responded to about how he's not going to fire somebody mm -hmm. he works with and is going to continue to work with. So right. he's almost, I mean, that was a pretty much confirmation right. that he's going to continue working with him, presumably as Shazam. So now right. you've got maybe Ezra Miller, Zachary Miller, probably Zachary Levi, probably, and Amanda Waller, Viola da Davis. But that would make sense, you know. Right. For sure. um, but any, anyway, I, I'm really excited to see, because I feel like this Flash movie is going to be like No Way Home mixed with Multiverse of Madness mixed with probably what Quantumania and Secret Wars is going to be. But yeah, I, I think it's it makes sense that it would be the restart. And who knows? Maybe they do a post credit scene at the end. You know, we keep hearing this about um, uh, uh, what movie is it where they're saying that they'll include like the history of Marvel. What what is that? Is that is that Ant Man? If they're saying that, 
I don't think so. Maybe there, there was a movie Shang-Chi too. No, 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 no. Uh, there was a movie we were just talking about last or, week where they were saying like the whole history of Marvel, including oh, Black, Secret Wars. Secret Wars. Secret okay. Wars, yeah. Yeah. And and you almost wonder if this Flashpoint movie is it going to do something yeah, similar. Th- that's exactly what also, I'm saying. Also, yeah. let's not forget that Keanu Reeves has just been recast not too long ago to star and talking about as too, Constantine yeah. in a new Constantine film. So what are the chances that that stemmed from he was on set playing Constantine in the Flash movie? And and it struck just up a, a chord. And yeah, yeah, of course. Because like I said, I think there's a chance that we see kind of a lot of, I mean, Quick listen, glimpses. we know Quick we glimpses, have Michael yeah. Keaton's Batman there. And Ben Affleck's Batman. Right. So, so we definitely are getting some history of it, but I think it may go deeper, a little deeper and more interesting than we thought. Where, I think so too. I mean, seeing Keanu Reeves Constantine in that would be very unexpected. But with the news now that we have, knowing that he is playing Constantine in the future, in a feature film, it's like. Wow, maybe that's not such a big surprise after all that maybe we see that character. Yeah, uh, I mean, at this point, you know, we haven't even got a trailer yet, which is coming Super Bowl. Um, Mm. But at this point... Which is only a week or two away, you know. Yes, yeah. But at this point, it's so open to speculation about the possibilities here that, who knows, maybe we'll get... Bat nipples back, you know, George Clooney, a quick glimpse of the bat nipples. Or, we should. I mean, it's the greatest bat suit ever made. <laughs> yeah, right. And how about Val Kilmer back, you know, just for a quick glimpse. And Clooney. I, I mean, everybody. What's everybody. Clooney doing? I mean, right. I ain't seen Clooney in anything in years. Ticket to Paradise. Well, I mean, I ain't seen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, know. <laughs> I don't think you heard me. I, know. I, ain't, I ain't seen. seen, it. I ain't seen it <laughs> no, but it. But, yeah, but yeah I mean, it'd be kind of cool just to see him. I mean, Val Kilmer had, you know, lost his uh, Thor, ability to uh, yeah. speak, basically. Yes. So. That would be even cooler. That would be the best. Make yeah. him like Thomas Wayne and like, you know, or like um, Dude, maybe uh, Bruce he's got a Batman Wayne Beyond. And Batman but... Beyond. Yes. You know, the old Bruce Wayne. You know, he's so old that, you know, his vo- he can barely speak yeah, now. And yeah. I mean, that would be kind of cool. Um, Yeah, I, there's just so many options there. I mean, I uh, definitely want to see Batman Beyond out of this, if that's possible. That's for sure. Probably but, will. But guys, you guys are hearing all this. Uh, Flash is definitely coming. And it is definitely the resetting of the DCU. What do you guys think of that? Definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below.